We're walking again this morning. It's cloudy and it's nice and it's cool. All right, it's day two. It's day two of 30. It's Thursday, September 13th. And um, the weather is my favorite morning weather. It's overcast and it's cloudy and cool. It's like maybe 60 degrees right now. And it's such a reprieve because it's been like 80 degrees first thing in the morning here in Southern California. Uh, and it had been getting up to like 115. So I think today it's only gonna be 80 tops. And that makes me really, really, really happy. Although I love the summer because of the longer days and you know the time off from work that I'm gifted as a teacher, I am not a summer person. I don't thrive in the heat and um, it really brings me down. Um, it affects my body deeply. Like I'm always super tired and particularly moody in the summer because not being able to cool down easily um, is really uncomfortable. And I think that has a lot to do with my general overall sensory struggles that I've had my whole life. So I'm just really sensitive to that season and that temperature. Anyway, super happy now. This is comfortable and cozy. I might need to start walking a little earlier because um, this time of the morning everybody's heading to work and there's a lot of cars out, it's really noisy. So, um, sorry for the noise. Talk about totally unscripted, huh? <laughs> so this is what I'm thinking about this morning. You guys are gonna be here with me for the next 30 days as I process this like bump I've gotten to in my life. But I truly believe that it's through the stories of other people that we learn so much about ourselves. So maybe this will be of service to you. Oh, I forgot to put on my button. Oh well. I was gonna wear my other button that says, kind is cool. Um, and that's what I wanna talk about. I'm a firm believer in being a kind person um, and doing acts of kindness. And I have always made it a priority to be kind to people, you know? I mean, yeah, we, we all should be kind, but I've like always put other people first, always, at the expense of myself. And so here I am, 55, completely burnt out from parenting, from teaching for 26 years, from being through a difficult divorce, going through a difficult custody battle a number of years ago, general childhood trauma, and still being a nice, good person, kind, loving, patient with everybody, except myself. <laughs> so this is where it leads me now. Um, in order for me to better care for myself, I need to, sorry, I'm just really distracted by this house across the street where they like completely updated it with a new door and this beautiful gazebo in front. And wow, that was just so pretty. Um, it tells you how long it's been since I've been walking. Like this house is totally redone and I hadn't even seen it yet. <laughs> um, I need to be kind to myself. And 
I need to start giving back to me. Now, this leads to a bigger situation, which is that my work, teaching, takes just about all of the life out of me. It takes a lot of kindness to be available intellectually, mentally, physically, and emotionally to 24 human beings that I have to be in front of every day. But also, not just them, but to all the other staff and administration that I work with. It takes a lot out of me. And I, feeling like I have very little left. Oh, Bunny just hopped in front of me. <laughs> that was so cute. I have very little left for me. And I would really, really, really love to not be working anymore so that I can take care of myself, so that I can give back to myself. I'm at an age where it's about time to start considering retiring, but I can't yet. I have to work through my 58th year in order to receive my lifetime health benefit. And that's an amazing benefit to be given. I'm not willing to give that up. So I have to find ways to deeply care for myself and deeply be kind to myself over the next four years so that when I do retire, and I'm going to do it at 58, I'm not working until I'm 62 or 65, but when I do retire, I still have life in me so that I can enjoy the next 55 years after that. That's what I need to do. So these walks with you in the morning are the first step to being kind to myself. Let's get into the car so I can go to work. Here we are. I'll get in the car. Okay. So I'm going to Sorry, I think I was holding the microphone area. I'm I'm going to I'm going to retire from teaching at 58. I think I've worked enough. <laughs> it's time for me. It's time to continue to grow and learn and do it with vitality. I don't want to be the person who retires and has nothing left and just slowly degrades and dies and that's it. I want the rest to be my best years after having given to people I care about and society at large for so long. I want time for me. So I'm going to give that to myself. Now, what I do want to say, and I know like my friends here are not the people who are going to watch this and say what's on my mind right now, but the thing that's on my mind right now, and this is just me being um, a little bit insecure, but the thing being on my mind right now is that this is coming across as whiny, and I'm not whining. Like, I've already, I've I've done it already. I've been of service and I deserve, um, I deserve this time for, to live my life the way that I want to live it without the con constraints of anybody else's rules. So that's what I'm going to do. You heard it here first. <laughs> Retiring at 58 in four years, I'm getting on it now. Thanks for walking with me. I'll see you tomorrow.